Preparing the Lancing Device Preparing the Lancing Device Level Measuring Locate and lower the cap of the Lancing Device Insert a lancet into the mounting pad and push it all the way in Carefully twist off the protective cap Do not throw away the protective cap The depth of plug sampling can be adjusted from 1 to 5, where higher number means deeper penetration. We recommend you start with 3. Cock the lancing device by holding the adjustable tip with one hand and pulling all the sleeve with the other hand until the device clicks. Wash hands on sample site using soap and warm water. Rinse it completely dry before testing. Preparing the meter and the test strip. Make sure the meter is turned off. Open the battery compartment and insert two batteries with a positive side, facing up and close the car. Insert the test strip with the cautious parts facing upwards into the meter's test strip or gently until the meter beeps. The ready circle will echo on the screen. Lock sampling and measurement. If the meter is ready, place a lancing device against the pad of the meter and press the trigger button. When the ready symbol appears, apply the blood sample. Make sure the confirmation window is full. If the confirmation window is not full before the meter starts counting down, error 4 or a wrong result may appear on the screen. The meter may switch off if the blood sample is not applied within two minutes of the ready symbol appearing on screen. If the meter switches off, either remove the strip and reinsert it, or just press the S button while the strip is inserted. The result will display after the meter counts from 5 to 1. The results will automatically be stored in the meter. If you remove the test strip, the meter will be automatically switched off after 3 seconds. After measuring, unscrew the chip cap of the lancing device by rotating it in an anti-clockwise direction. Without touching the lancet, place the lancet tip into the projected cow and throw it away. To use the eject button to push out the used lancet, you must cock the lancing device again before using the eject button. Re-screw the tip of the lancing device back on.